In this video, we're going to take a very quick look at setting up a LAMP stack with DigitalOcean. Now, if you're not sure what a LAMP stack is, uh, it's essentially just a server that runs Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. So this is going to be perfect if you have a small project and you want to get it hosted. Nothing major, no real setup here. There's, there's everything being done for us. Um, so we're going to look how we can do this with DigitalOcean. So the first thing to do then is obviously sign up for a DigitalOcean account if you don't already have one. And you're going to want to hit this create droplet button once you're logged in. And we'll see the following screen. So we're going to go ahead and give this a name. In this case, I'm going to call it LAMP, just an example. And I'm selecting the £5 a month option, so the smallest box we can set up. Uh, you can go ahead and select the region that is uh, most suitable for you. Uh, but I'm going to leave it on the default of New York. And down here, we have uh, the ability to select an image. Now, by default, this will be Ubuntu, and at the moment, this is 14.04. Uh, but if we head over to this Applications tab, it gives us a wide variety of sort of predefined setups for each of these servers. So I'm going to go ahead and hit LAMP on 14.04. So this will be Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP set up on an Ubuntu server, which is perfect. This is exactly what we want to do. And we're going to go ahead and add an SSH key for this. This is really important so we can access our server using a uh, public and private key. So if I go ahead and pull up a terminal window, we can go ahead and generate uh, our SSH key, our public and private key in here. Now, If you are working on something like Windows, then you can use some software called Putty, which I'd highly recommend. And you can generate a public and a private key this way. I'm obviously on OS X, so I'm on a Unix based system. Uh, and I'm just going to run some commands here, which will generate a key for me. But whichever operating system you're working with, you, you'll just want to do the same as long as, as long as you have a private and a public key available. So I want to generate a key inside of .ssh. And at the moment, I just have a few keys here. But I'm going to go ahead and, uh, or a couple of keys here. I'm going to go ahead and generate a new one. So I'm going to use the ssh keygen command. And that's a RSA key. And it asks me where I want to save this. So this will be saved in the directory if we don't give it an absolute path. So I'm just going to call this LAMP for now. And I'm not going to use a passphrase. So we'll just go ahead and skip that. So now you can see I've got LAMP, which is our private key, and LAMP.pub, which is our public key. So what we can do is go ahead and say cat LAMP.pub. That's going to give us the contents. Obviously, if you've just generated this with something like Putty on Windows, you can go ahead and just open it up. So I'm going to copy this. Head back over to DigitalOcean and hit Add SSH Key. We can go ahead and paste this in here, and let's go ahead and call this LAMP. Just add this, and there we go. So that's now selected, and we can go ahead and create the droplet. So that's going to take a little while. Once you've done that, uh, you will get an email through about the LAMP stack that you've just created, uh, but you can go ahead and give that a read and find any more information there. But once this is done, we're going to go ahead and connect to our server both through, the, uh, through SSH and through SFTP as well. So once that's all finished, uh, you'll see your uh, droplet displayed here. And we're going to copy the IP address and paste it into our browser. And you can see here we have the uh, default Apache 2 Ubuntu page. So this is just basically a file within your web route that you can go ahead and replace with any of the files from your project. And we'll look at doing that in just a moment via SFTP. So how can we connect uh, as in SSH to this server in case we want to change anything within the server, uh, in case we want to install anything else, delete anything? So we'll have a look at doing that next. So what we want to do then is using the key that we generated connect to our server. So we know that we are are in our SSH directory or wherever your key is stored. Um, and whichever SSH client you're using, you might be using Windows, you might be using something different. Uh, you can go ahead and, uh, and connect with that and choose your private key to be able to connect. In this case, though, I, I'm obviously just within the terminal on OS X. So to go ahead and connect, we use the SSH command. And we need to define which key we want to use, and that's just LAMP. Remember, it's not LAMP.pub because that's the public key that's stored uh, over on DigitalOcean. So we're logging in as root, and we're going to paste the IP address in there. So let's just grab that again and go ahead and paste that in there. And we'll go ahead and type yes. And we should be over on our server in just a moment. There we are. 
So you can see that uh, DigitalOcean gives you a little bit of information here, which is really useful. So the first thing is your web root location, and that's var www.html. And you can obviously go ahead and see that by using uh, HTTP uh, as in the protocol, which will automatically connect to port 80. That's your web server. Uh, details of your PHP installation can be seen at info.php. We'll look at that in just a moment. All that is is a file that's going to go ahead and give your uh, PHP uh, info. And your MySQL root users password is this. You can obviously go ahead and change that or rather create new users and give them permissions. So the first thing that we're going to do then is cd over to var www.html. And let's uh, list the files in here. So we've got index.html, which is the file that you can see here. And we've also got info.php, which we know is just going to give us the details of our installation. So if we go ahead and look inside of info.php, we can see that that just gives an opening PHP tag, a PHP info function, and then a closing PHP tag. So let's go ahead and remove info.php. You don't want to keep that on your server. It's really, really important. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and remove index.html as well. So now we have nothing in this directory and you'll see that we just get this or this. Uh, let's just refresh. There we go. So we've got nothing here at all at the moment. So if you are working with a very basic project or you just want to host something, you might want to upload files uh, via FTP. And in this case, we're going to be using SFTP, which is obviously connecting uh, to your FTP server, but a secure FTP server where you provide your private key to be able to connect. So I'm going to be using FileZilla. You can obviously choose whichever FTP client you want to use. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and connect now. So let's copy this IP address again. And there's a couple of things we need to do here. Uh, we need to provide the SFTP protocol and paste that IP address in. Our username is root. We don't have a password because we're connecting via uh, our keys. So if you open up FileZilla settings, you can go ahead and over on SFTP, you can add a key here. So if we click add key file, uh, you can see I've got a list of my keys within my SSH directory, and I can go ahead and click LAMP. Now FileZilla asks me to convert this to a supported format, so I can just go ahead and uh, type yes. And in here, I'm just going to say LAMP FZ for FileZilla. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And there we go. So it's added. So let's hit OK. And we'll go ahead and uh, click Quick Connect. And we'll go ahead and say OK to this. And that will take us through to our server. So let's just make this a little bit bigger so we can see our files. And let's uh, just go back a directory. And let's go into var. Let's go into www. And this is our root directory. So let's just create an example file. Remember, we are, our root directory for our web is inside of HTML here. So let's go ahead and create a new file in here. We'll just call this index.html. You can obviously drag your files over if you want. And when we refresh, we obviously don't see our directory listing because we now have an index.html file there. And really, that is pretty much it. We have created a digital ocean droplet with a pre-made LAMP stack. So we have obviously Linux running as our operating system. We're running Ubuntu. We have Apache installed, which we've already seen. We have MySQL installed, which we know. We saw our uh, password, our root password when we logged in. So you can either go ahead and remotely connect to that, or you can go ahead and do that within your terminal. And we know that we have PHP installed as well, because we saw the result of the PHP info function. So there we go. That's how we easily set up a LAMP stack on a DigitalOcean droplet. And you can go ahead and host your uh, project over there.